Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can paint clothes. And guys, there are no secrets or techniques. It is just a purely light and shadow studies. Just like any other object when it's affected by light. And that's all. We tend to think too much and get distracted by little details. But it is actually way simpler than that. In this video, I'm also not going to talk about how you draw folds, since I have a tutorial on that specific topic, so you can check that. I'll leave the link down below on the description. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what I need to have or to know first before I start painting. The first thing is a good reference. And what I mean by that? I mean a simple reference that has a pronounced light source that you can see. You can see also the shadows and lights clear, so it will be easier to paint. The second thing you need is a line art. Some people just work with shapes, but for this one I'll start with a line art. As you can see my line art is so simple. I didn't put too much lines, just big ones like the contour and the ones that has a big line action or has like a big fold. You can actually depend only on the contour but these internal lines helps me to determine the placement of the ambient occlusion since these are folds, as I mentioned. Next thing to mention is a solid knowledge of how light and shadow works and for this one I have I guess a detailed tutorial on it so kindly check it out first since it will make things easier for you while watching this one i'm going to talk about it but if you didn't get what i'm trying to say then you just go back to the one i'm mentioning i'll leave also the link down below on the description so the question is should i have a solid base knowledge on how color works and how it get affected by light the answer is yes and also no. You can manage to do it in grayscale or just pick the colors from the reference if it's not affected by different light sources colors. Or you can just follow what I'm going to teach you while choosing the right colors. So the first step is local colors or the flat colors and those are the real colors of the cloth itself. Like in this case, it is kinda blue-gray and shorts are almost reddish black. Next step, which is the most important one, is to determine the light source position. So in this case, as you see, it is obviously here on the top right. Since here right side is lit and her left side is on shadow. So what we do next is painting the shadows. And what you need to do is thinking big. Don't bother yourself with details. And what kind of shadows are there, whether it is cast shadows, form shadows, ambient occlusion, whatever the name of it. Just paint the big shape. And what I like to do is I pick the local color and then move the slider towards saturation diagonally and then shift the hue towards the warm side. Now you can paint the shape using a brush or you can use a lesser tool and then fill it with color. And I'll just do the same for the shorts. So what you actually did is separating the whole shape into a light area and a shadow area. Next step is the mid-tones or the half-tones. And those are the gradations between light and shadow. So you can consider it as darks fades while going towards light or light just fades going to the dark. So again I pick the local color and then do the same as I have done while choosing shadows. But this time I choose a value between the local color and the shadow color. So it is a little bit darker than the local color but lighter than shadows. To make it even easier, it is like using a 50% gray as a local color and 30% for the shadows. Now I'll use a 40% gray for mid-tones. I hope you get it. 
and again use the lasso tool to draw shapes and then use a planting brush to soften some areas to make the gradation looks better you can follow the reference for that but remember half tones are on the light side those light values on the shadow side like on the arm are not half tones these are the ones i'm going to paint now which is the reflected light or the bounce light from the surroundings or even from the folds going close to each other so reflected light is on the shadow area and the value of it is a little bit lighter than shadows but still darker than half tones so remember that to make it easier also remember that shadows are 30 percent half tones are like 40 percent so reflected light will be between 30 and 40. so i pick the shadow value and go a little bit lighter and again you can use the lasso tool or just use a brush i use hard drawn brushes with soft edges and a soft brush now the ambient occlusion which are the area that light won't reach which are the darkest areas like below the shirt hoodie and beneath the arm so i pick the shadow color and go for the darkest value you can go for black actually if you want and that gives it like more depth and for the areas that are directly hit by light i consider them the highlights which will be the lightest area on that hoodie i pick the local color and then move the slider up diagonally towards the desaturation and shift the hue towards the cool so you can have in general warm shadows and cool highlights and for real guys that's it you can stop here or work even more and start softening some edges and harden others play with levels to darken or brighten some parts i'll leave you with another one also the same concept even while painting bodies so i hope you like this one and thanks a lot for watching don't forget to join our discord, I'll leave the link down below.